Hello everyone! Welcome to the Information Security for Dummies course presented by EC Council. My name is Tino Šokić and I will be your host or presenter or instructor for this interesting and hopefully exciting course where I will try to lay down some good foundations for your further studies concerning information security or better to say for your further cyber studies on the subject. But just one thing before we continue, please allow me to tell you a little bit about myself because I feel it is my obligation to tell you who I am and what I do in IT and in this case information security in general. For you to see am I even credible to talk about this subject because after all we will make each other's company for the next few hours. Now we are going to touch on the synopsis or the summary or the syllabus of this course where I believe you will get a better picture of what are we going to discuss as we move forward. I want to be honest here and say that creating a basic or a fundamental or a course for dummies or whatever we call this course is the hardest thing for me because I really want to transfer the knowledge I have gained over the years about the topic and that topic is information security. Also, to make you a confident professional with things learned here when you proceed to more advanced topics. Over this course, we'll be covering some of the basics surrounding information security and what you need to know in order to be compliant with most of the world's uh, data protection policies, as well as some of the different ways in which data can be secured. I have designed this course with seven sections. And now I will briefly touch on each one of them, so you will know what are you in for. In the first section, called Introduction, we will, or better to say we already have covered the instructor welcome, and now we are going through the course overview. So in the next part of this video we will touch on the target audience and the prerequisites that would be needed for you to successfully complete this course. The second section is called Introduction to Information Security. This is an easy to understand introduction to fundamentals of information security where we will define it, talk about different security concepts, demystify the well-known CIA triad, just a heads up, not the agency. CIA stands for confidentiality, integrity and availability. And you will see how this triad is one of the essential things in information security, maybe security in general. And last is risk. I want to introduce you to risk as an important topic in any security discussion. If you don't know how valuable something is, then how will you decide on the level of protection you should use for its security? Section 3 is called Information Systems Security. And here we will demystify information um, of those complicated systems that store our information that we are protecting. We will mention the design and development approaches of those kind of systems and go a little bit in depth on the threats and attacks that you can and probably will encounter in your information security career. Here I will talk about my own examples of uh, attacks that I have encountered. Now the section 4 is probably one of my favorite, most favorite topics and that is human security. Humans are usually the weakest link in any IT system and they are actually better to say um, we, humans, are the easiest to hack. Here we will talk about the importance and how to implement the proper security awareness trainings, apply access controls and what or what, what not to include in the physical security of an IT system. The fifth section, which is called the cryptography basics, I will introduce you to something that you use probably all day, every day. And its purpose is to secure the, any transfer of data that is being done. So, here we will demystify symmetric and asymmetric en uh, encryption, hashing, we will talk about PKI, I won't tell you now, right now what it is, um, all, and for last we will talk about the cryptography usage examples in real life. Although the word cryptography sounds like a complex mathematical top secret confidential thing, it can be explained in simple words and that is the issue we will try to touch on here. Then we come to almost the last section of the course, the sixth section, called Introduction to Security Policy Compliance. I have to warn you about this section, it is not as dull or boring as it sounds. This is the section where we will touch on the different compliance frameworks that are available to us today. 
Some of them are the General Data Protection Regulation, then NIST, uh, the National Institute of Standards and Technology with its guidelines for developing a cybersecurity in the framework, and the ISO, the International Standard Organization, 27001. Uh, actually, we'll talk about the whole 27,000 standard here as a whole. And for last, we'll go through the key elements of an information security policy document. This document is usually a vital document in any organization's security aspect, and I believe you should be very familiar with it. And the last section, section 7, that goes by the name conclusion, is just that, the conclusion of the course. My final thoughts? and some of the recommendations for your further studies. This section also contains a bonus video that I will not discover right now, but it is essential to yours, mine, anyone's work. Now, let's talk about prerequisites. People often banalize knowledge in its value. For example, I play the guitar and sing. And not that rarely people say, come on, just come and play for us. But that just playing is the sum of all my hours of practice and learning uh, of learning that skill. I'm not saying that I have to get paid immediately someone asks me for uh, something. Rather have a little more respect for someone's skill or knowledge. That analogy you can translate to almost any other profession or a skill. When I started to write about the prerequisites for this course, I started about computer concepts, networks, uh, IT systems, knowledge about programming, management skills, and so forth. But in the end, and I came to the conclusion that if you are here and talking um, and, and thinking about this course right now, all you really need is the willingness to learn and a mandatory thing, in my opinion, that I call the fun drive. This is something that gives uh, a more entertaining dimension to the whole learning experience. I'm not saying that learning has to be funny, full of entertaining facts and jokes, but who says we have to be boring? Okay, now, let's move on to the target audience part. I believe that this course can be and is a valuable resource to almost anyone who wishes to pursue his or hers IT security career. So the first group of people I'm mentioning as the target audience is anyone wanting to break into IT security. Maybe you are making a career change or just a slight shift because you are already in IT. Wherever you are in your career, to learn or revisit the basics of some topic that is of interest to you is the best way to break into it. That is my own personal opinion. Then next on the list are the IT security professionals. I have mentioned here new and experienced people. If you are new, that is great. But I would like to also focus on the experienced professionals. Because from my experience, when I listen or watch something that I think I already know, usually I always learn something new. Maybe something I have missed or did not even consider thinking about. Okay now, the next two bullets are dedicated to my IT background. IT technicians, network admins, system administrators, programmers and developers. I think that everyone listed here should go through, the, through a training concerning information security because all the information security related incidents are a big part of their work. Or better to say, directly linked to their work. Last on the list are the, the decision makers, management, CC suit people, um, a lot of C's for me. Maybe they should be first on the list since they are the ones responsible for the business development, policy implementations, decisions, budgets, staffing and so forth. But remember, I'm essentially an IT guy. I believe everyone um, in this kind of position should go through training like this because they can only get better at managing and protecting their companies and organizations. Remember the bonus video I mentioned in the syllabus uh, at the last section of the course? Well, that is uh, also tightly connected to IT and non-IT people. And now, after my welcome and the course overview, and without any further ado, the only thing I want to say to you is Buckle up and see you in the next video where we will start to talk about information security in more detail.